Hello, welcome to setting up your writer for your student software of winter. First thing I want you to do is go ahead and turn on your writer. If you have a Blaze writer, you're going to press and hold that button down until the blue light comes on. If you have any other type of writer, you're going to want to follow the manufacturer's recommendation on how to turn that on. Now that the writer is on, I want you to get the USB cable that came with the writer and plug it into the client port in the back of the writer. On the computer, we're going to go ahead and insert the USB into the computer. And at this point, the writer should trigger Windows Mobile Device Center um, download and install. If it doesn't, you can find it on the CD that came with the writer in the folder called WMDC for Windows Mobile Device Center or you can download it from Microsoft. If you have to download it or if you're going to install directly off of the um, the CD then this is what starts happening. This is what should start happening from the writer anyways, but this is just in case it doesn't happen, then you can download and manually install this. All right. And then the green window will come up. As it's still doing things in the background, it's downloading. You're going to get another bigger window that says Windows Mobile Device Center on it, and it'll say that the writer is connected. And here's our Windows Mobile Device Center. You don't have to set it up. This is the most important thing down here is that it says connected. And you're done with that part. Now, that's just getting the writer connected to the computer. Now we need to install the emulating um, drivers for a serial port. That's also on the CD if you got that. Now on the CD it'll be listed under a folder called drivers and in there you will see a 32-bit choice and a 64-bit choice so you'll have to know whether your computer is 32-bit or 64-bit and it'll look something like this right here so I'm going to double click now in order to install this you must have the writer connected and uh, connected to Windows Mobile Device Center, that green window that I showed you earlier. So we'll go through the installation process and we'll click Next. We're going to agree to the licensing and click Next. We're going to leave, leave this as is and click Next. This stays the same and we'll click on Install. Little black windows will come up, flash, and do their thing, and then we'll click Next. Here we don't have to do anything. It's automatically going to launch the next phase of what we want to do. At this point, we'll be taken out to a DOS prompt and asked to put in the number of the COM port we want to use. Just put the number one 
and hit the enter key it'll go through a series of little black windows again and then you'll be done when you go into device manager you will see your COM port here it's under serial port emulators and that's COM1 if you ever come in here you're having problems you ever come in here and this COM1 is missing you must reinstall the driver let me say that better you must uninstall the driver and then reinstall with these same directions once that's completed you can go into winner and then to real-time preferences and then to the writer and set up your writer for the preferences uh, that we've just selected so that would be blaze if you're using a blaze and comport one